At times he wore a mask, at other times he did not. Colorado Governor Jared Polis meeting with President Trump in the White House cabinet room this afternoon. The governor also updated our state on his meeting moments ago from the nation's capital. Joining the governor today, Senator Cory Gardner and the head of Colorado's health department. The meeting started out with Governor Polis talking about the situation here in Colorado and even his recent haircut. Most businesses are open in Colorado, pretty much everything except for those social businesses like bars and nightclubs. Uh, a few places have restaurants open. We're working on the rest soon, but offices, manufacturing, right. salons, pretty much all people are back at, in, a, in, a, in a safer way, right? It's not the same way it was. Like uh, if you go, I got my hair cut the other day. It looks good. Thank you. You should have seen it before. Like I was, it was crazy. What little is left of it. Not bad, not bad. Um, so, you know, they wore a mask. I wore a mask. So we, we're doing it in a safe way. Um, all the stores are back and, and April 27th, we were one of the states where we wanted to do that in a safe way. People are being responsible. As Kim mentioned, Senator Gardner also sat in on the meeting and talked about Grand Junction restaurants being among the first in the country to go back to limited dine-in service. When the governor's talking about uh, Grand Junction, you have restaurants that aren't just open, but you have dine-in right, uh, in dine some in. of these restaurants, which I think is uh, maybe Mayor. some of the first around the country to actually mm -hmm. reopen to dine-in because of the good work that uh, they have done together. And then we wanted to, you know, for our restaurants were open throughout this whole period in our state. Right. They, they just did delivery, they did takeout, they did curbside, and we even waived some of the laws so they could sell alcohol curbside right. and sell alcohol delivery because that extra piece can make the difference between them staying in business or not. How do they do? How do those restaurants do with the takeout? Uh, you know, you'll talk, hear from some that are doing okay with it. It doesn't work for every restaurant, and that's why, we, you know, they need to be open for the right. restaurant dining but for many of them it's paid their bills and they've gotten through it and it's helped them not, not every restaurant well the battle over the castle rock restaurant that opened on mother's day and then had its license suspended by the governor did not come up during today's meeting with the president the group also talked about colorado ski areas the president asking if they could reopen the governor reminded him that visitors from other states and countries turned to those areas turned them into hot spots for the virus in early march ski slopes are fantastic yeah. right there are those that say the greatest uh, anywhere. How are you doing with the skiing? And, you know, it's a big yeah. business for you. You know, it's a big business. It's also one of the way, reasons that we got a lot of the virus in our state, because people come from all over the world, right. all over the world. I've heard that. And so that's what led to the spread. And so uh, most of the ski season is ending, but we're actually hopeful. We have, a lot of people don't know this, but in Colorado, we have a few areas that they're skiing through July 4th. And, and we're hoping that people will be able to ski again. David. The governor explained that while many mountain communities have gotten a handle on the virus, they are cautious about reopening their areas to visitors. The president also made a few other headlines during the meeting. He said he wants to see students nationwide return to school by the fall, saying the virus, in his views, has very little effect on young people. The president also said he disagrees with Dr. Anthony Fauci's cautious approach to reopening the nation's economy. And tomorrow, a whistleblower who lost his job as vaccine director will be testifying before Congress. Dr. Rick Bright is expected to say that 2020 could be, in his words, the darkest winter in modern history if the United States does not dramatically ramp up its response to the virus.